Back again, viewers and subscribers. What's going on? Yes, people, the game just finished. Arsenal beat Leicester City 4 2. But trust me, that one let me sweat, people. I was sweating. Come on, Arsenal, man. Come on. Conceiving two goals in the second half is not good enough. I must say, Justin's second goal is a very good goal. He'll take it one time on the valley. Very good goal. First goal from Justin again. It was a come off a deflection of Kyle Avery. But people, this one make us sweat. It make us sweat. We're going to dive right into it, people. But before we do all of that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, people. And not seeing the comment them and not seeing the, the likes them going up. Moreover, we're not seeing the subscribe them going up. But people, don't forget. Don't forget to dare do the thing. Never get to go to the game. We got a lot of work going on. Big up the taste of flavor. I got a bit of catering going on today, so I couldn't get to go to the game. But nonetheless, people, I was going to do a watch along, but that was even a bit hard for me to get done because by the time I come, the game start already, and I say, you know what? Can't be bother. Just continue. Couldn't get up certain things up and running for the game. Even second half, I said I'm going to jump on second half. But it just didn't happen, people. But anyway, nonetheless, we're here. And we're going to dive right into what's go on today. Woo! People, like I said, this one made me. I was sitting down there thinking Man City just drew their game 1-1 with Newcastle. And we need to win by four clear goal to go top of the table. And hey! <laughs> hey! First half, people. Arsenal get into their rhythm. Um, Leicester City drop deep and we're piling out the pressure, piling out the pressure. But uh, one thing I want to point out, when I speak to people about the two games that Arsenal drew um, with um, Brighton and Man City and we play with 10 man, I know people say, but yeah, Leicester do it, but Leicester with 11. But you see what happened. Jamie Vardy stayed deep. Yeah, stay, stay up top with... Um, um, Gabriel and William Saliba and at one point I was looking William Saliba dropped behind um, Jamie Vardy and and and, and um, Gabriel was playing the closest to, 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 to Jamie Vardy why? because of the pace they are aware of Jamie Vardy pace so um, William Saliba wasn't taking no prisoner so what him do, him drop off two, three feet so him can see what's going on. So when I was saying that, when we went down to 10 man with um, Brighton, I was saying that, do the same. Even though we were 10 man down, but I was saying, put Martinelli in the middle and that will give um, Brighton something to think about. Because the pace of Martinelli, they will drop one man. So it's look like we're going to play with uh, 11 v 11 because they're going to be aware of Martinelli pace so they're not going to allow just one man to drop off they're going to drop off two so it would have come back down to Martinelli keep two players out the game so it would have v eight against um seven against seven in the in the it, it, it could have worked and the same thing I was talking about with City City going to be aware of Martinelli pace and they're not going to committed the whole 10 player on the on the on the 18 yard. So that's what I was saying. And today you see Leicester drop very deep. And I know they was gonna can see because they see it up in the conk. You cannot drop that deep and and expect to, to play all long, play the ball over. It's gonna come right back at, at any given time. It will come right back. And it proving today, Leicester drop deep. And we get our first goal by Martinelli. And I was so delighted. And then again, I don't understand. Oh, Leicester dropped that deep. But you leave so many man free. So many space. So many play in the... in the. And you're not going to see this on, on match of the day. Also, if I watch match of the day, you're going to see they're going to highlight almost space. When Leicester drop that deep, they leave Arsenal. The, the space that they leave in between the 18-yard and the 6-yard box... Was was a killer. It was terrible. I could I couldn't put my head around it. Why that big of a space so you can have the likes of Kyle Avrick step over it to to trust her to come around to play to make that play. It was it was it was 
it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous, but nonetheless, like I sorry, Martin will come around to, 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 to take that one time touch. No, sorry. What am I saying? It was Ch Chassard goal. Yeah. Chassard come around when they, they make the step over and Chassard score. Martinelli was this, basically was the same. It was like the same. Why you leave so much space in between the 6 yard to the 18 yard box? There's too much space for Arsenal to play around there. And that's why you get done um, Leicester City. And I must say that Leonardo Chassard um, actually cost us a po two points at City. And him come back and give us back two points today. Because with this two goal, even though we win 4-2, but that does open up um, Leicester City so Kyle Avery could score that fourth goal. Because without Trussard's third, second goal to make it 3-2, then Leicester wouldn't gamble. They wouldn't gamble. And I don't believe that um, at, that at Kyle Avery goal would have scored. So that goes to show how important... Um, Chossard goal is when Chossard, sorry people about that when Chossard um, scored that goal in the in the 90 90 hey, 94th minutes I was going to say 99 because I was thinking 95 minutes and the four, was scoring the 4 minutes extra, but it's not but sorry yeah in the 94th minutes people when we, we score but like I said people it 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 was a big goal for us. A big, big goal. Because I was sitting on there thinking that we're going to drop two points to Leicester at home. Like, what are we thinking? Is it that I'm just thinking, looking back at... I, I know I saw a person leave a comment and, and, and talking about... We, we, and on and on and on about uh, Manchester City. Manchester City living our head rent-free. But today, when I see um, Man City drew their game... With Newcastle, even though I don't think that that was a penalty, I I I, I see Chossard do the same thing last season. I see Chossard leave that trailing foot, yeah, leave it, and I believe that is something that the Premier League, FIFA, they need to cut it out. They need to look back on VR and see when that foot is left there. Come on, you left that foot there for the, the opponent to touch it. And once the opponent touch it, are you drag that and the opponent, you're going to give a penalty, you're going to go over. And after me, I just believe that is not football and we need to do the Premier League and FIFA need to do much better when it come on to those um, those cheating. Because I, I, I call it cheating. Like I said, I hold on my hand, I see Kyle Averett done it already for, for, for Arsenal that we get a penalty, Saka score the penalty. But... It is not fair. It's not fair because garden goal, garden penalty today. He isn't even if he may even jump over a uh, Man City keeper. I know I'm not speaking about my, but like, I'm just talking about even if him go over Man City keeper, jump over the keeper, he wouldn't get that ball because Kyle Kyle Walker was back in the goal, so he wouldn't get that. He wouldn't score that goal, but. Because him see all of that garden, see all of that happening. What him do? Leave that trailing foot. And I don't believe that even the keeper touch him. I think he dragged it onto the keeper. And the referee go over like a ton of brick fall on him. The referee give what? A penalty. But when I see that, I was delighted. I was glad that Newcastle score. But coming back to the Arsenal game, thinking that, yes, now we get back. We drop two points to, to Brighton. Um, Man City was leading us by two points. Now we have the chance to go back a point. Am I right by saying that? Yeah. A point over Man City. And I'm sitting down there, 98 minutes. Jesus, come on. And I'm saying to myself, OMG, is this like a deja vu? Like Man City drop points, we drop points. But we are, we are at home to Leicester who just come up in the Premier League. We shouldn't be dropping points to them. And there we go, like Mikel Arteta said, trust the process, trust Chassad. Trust in Chassad, trust the process, and Chassad get the job done. He, actually, it was, um, um, at, um, what's his name, ja J Justin, um, Tim, um, not Justin, sorry. It was a, it was a, um, it was a, what's his name? Ndidi, home goal. But we will take it, it's three points. We will take it. And Chossard back post corner again. How many corner we're gonna get today? Today we get like over 20 corner. I believe we reach. If I 
it will be amaze me if we didn't get if we didn't get 20 corners today. 20 corners and we didn't score because guess what? Everybody was focused on Gabriel to 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 come and score and they were trying to do their best to keep up Gabriel and that's where I think the likes of Sil Saliba and when party was on the pitch to, to get into that space where they're looking for Gabriel, they're looking for opponent. Leicester was looking for Gabriel, trying to stop Gabriel. But we should have done better with the likes of um, like I said, um um Pate and 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 Saliba, the next, you know, big tall structure in the team to, to put something to get something on it. But the keeper, the keeper was tremendous today. Um, what's his call? Um, I uh, forgot what's his name, but you know me and name. Me and name is not good, so don't even go there. Don't, don't even, don't even gun me down for that. But the keeper today, he was good. I know that he makes two silly play trying to play the ball out of the, the um, um, play the ball from, 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 from play, play out the ball, and he make a terrible mistake by passing the ball, and we get the ball, and he make a tremendous save. He make a tremendous save and then he I see him trying to kick out the ball and somebody run at him again and he but put those two aside even though even though if Chossard didn't score that two goal I will definitely give man of the match to Leicester keeper because he was good in goal today I don't know what happened to Daveria but I'm now, like I said, Justin's second goal was a very good goal. One time off the volley, that square coming over from, from um, NDD. But it was a brilliant goal. But the, 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 the first goal, we cannot really blame David Rea because he's going one way and the buyer come off a call of her shoulder and go the next way. So we can't blame him for that. Can we blame him for the two goal? Not really because, like I said, it was a deflected goal and it was a brilliant goal that 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 uh, Justin scored. But Justin, ooh, that this guy does like to score in London because he come to when he played Chelsea, he scored against I think it's Chelsea, him score against one of them team, London team him score against. But oh my god, today I was the time is cold and I was sweating people. I was sitting on thinking like what the heck is going on here? How is it that we gonna lose drop points at home to Leicester today? Hey, trust, 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 trust in trust, in trust, we trust, <laughs> in trust, we trust people because trust made the difference today. And I, you know what? If I'm being honest, I'm, I, I don't know if it's me alone pick up on this, but the first ten to fifteen minutes in the in the game, I really didn't see our ear trust name call. And I was surprised. I'm not, even, I'm not gonna say 15. Maybe the first within like maybe within 10 minutes, but give and take a, a, a swear eight minutes pass. And I didn't hear that. I didn't even I uh, people, I'm not even lying. I did not realize that Chosan was playing. And I was looking at the starting level and I'm saying to myself, this look a bit short. But I didn't really pay it no mind. I didn't really pay it no mind because I said this is just the right formation. Kyle Avert, Declan Rice, Partey, and 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 Martinelli, Saka, and I'm saying to myself, but where's the extra? But you know what? Kind of get me out the 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 timber, and I was believing that um, Ben White was playing for some reason. I w I don't know what was in my head, but people, at least at minimum. Five minutes we did not I I for me personally I didn't hear I didn't hear Chossard name call. I didn't hear the commentator mention Chossard. And I was surprised when I hear the commentator say and I was like, oh wow, Chossard is playing. But none of the less people, none of the people trust I can't stop saying this. Trust in Chossard. In Chossard we trust. <laughs> trust the process. Trust the starting. Start your side in trust side we trust. Because he made the difference today. He made the difference. And this guy, Mikel Arteta, is a very key player for Mikel Arteta. I would love to see him coming off the bench because I believe he's one of them super sub that when 
things is not going good, we can call upon him. Is that the type of player? Is the type of player them that when him come on, he will make something happen. The next person I'm gonna talk about is Waneri. Ethan Waneri. I like the pace of OM dribble and that sort of pace and that sort of dribble OM take on people. OMG. You see, people, you see when I was saying to you like that, Mikel Arteta, just let him go in the, in the Dark London Derby. I know that this youth have it. I know it's two player. I see come out of Akalame. Well, um, Ethan Waneri come out of Akalame already. So, wouldn't say come out of Akalame this year. But the one, the two player them that, the two young player them that I see in Arsenal that going to make big pro progress. Like the Saka and the Martinelli is, is Ethan Waneri. And, and Nicholas, Nicholas, our our um, right back, he's gonna. I I I know that in the in the Carabao Cup we make a couple of pass that was a bit loose. I didn't even make a video on the Carabao Cup because rain was pouring down and I bring all my kids them to the to the game. So I just you know I kind of leave. I was I come home and I just didn't. But sorry about that, people. But what I see from Nicholas, what I see from that little guy, he's gonna make. Big things. He gonna, he's gonna. And people remember, mark my word. Nicholas is gonna become a star. He's gonna become one of those left back, right back for England that gonna be the the the, the first name on the team sheet. Give him a next two years. Give him two more years, and I bet you that he's gonna be in England squad. At least two more years. Nicholas, people, remember, I did tell you no. Nicholas, give him two more years. He's going to be in the England squad. And he's going to be one of those players that people going to start comparing. Even though it's two different positions, two different um, sided pitch and play. But people going to start comparing to, to Ashley Cole. I'm telling you, he look, even though Ashley Cole played on the left, but he played on the right. But he looked like one of those player that so big and confident he is a very small guy but you can see that he got the art of a lion Nicholas Waneri these two players they're gonna do things in the Premier League they're gonna do things for Arsenal watch out for them look out for them I like oh Mikel Arteta taking him time breading in Waneri but sometimes I would like to see more of him because even today, when him come on, the first shot him take, it was a big... Like I said to you, the keeper for Leicester, he was fantastic today. He was brilliant. If it wasn't that, he, maybe Leicester was going to get a seven. At least seven. Look at the, that one that um, Kyle Avery take again. When, when he made that... Oh my God, the keeper. Uh, the keeper was good. Ennisnar, what he wanted name. He was, he was really good today. One area, like I said, people, I like the quickness, the pace that him drivel at. And for have a little, um, a stature of him, his, his body is, and moving, you, you, the, 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 the least touch you touch him, you have to know, oh, it, 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 like I said, when Messi was at, in his prime coming through Barcelona from 2006, 7, 8, the, 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 the little maestro that you see and the pace of OM drivel is problem. And I can see that in one era. I'm not going to say that he's a messy at the moment. Who to tell? Who to tell that he's not going to come out to be even better than Messi? But the pace of OE drivel with the ball and the ball control that him have. I'm telling you, all the God, I'm telling you, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to... Even give it until next year. Martin Olegard, you're going to be in trouble because it's going to be a touch and go whether we start one near it or we start Martin Olegard. I'm t even though he's a captain, you know, I'm telling you, Arsenal is looking big. We're going, we're going places. And this is what I said, people. If we don't win the Premier League this season, I'm telling you, I'm going to go. I don't, I don't know. There's something happening with I Emery. If we don't win the Premier League, because I don't see nothing stopping us. Remember, look at it today. The team, we, we, we are three players down today. We are Martinelli out, sorry, Martin Oligard out, Ben White out, and um, um, 
Mikel Marino out. You understand? And we still look very, very strong. We still look strong. Sterling come on today and he make a couple dribble. But you know, Leicester is playing deep. He really get, really get a shot off target and target today. But Sterling him taking him time, breading in, breading in, breading in to the Arsenal way of Arsenal play. And you know, taking him time. But we know what Sterling gonna give us. We know we know Sterling gonna become a key player where he gonna score some vital goal to give us three points, six points, nine points. I know three proper game where Sterling gonna come out and get man of the match before the season done. At least at minimum Sterling gonna get at minimum man of the match in three games. I know it. And he's going to give us that nine points that we're looking for, people. But, like I said today, it was a big game today. We'll come away three points. In Chossard, we trust. Just like how Mikel Arteta said, trust the process. We trust Chossard. And Chossard delivered today. I know he let us down at Man City last Sunday. But today, he redeemed himself. And thank you to Chossard. I give you a man of the match today. Because what you did today... It take off a big pressure off Mikel Artitaka. If we'd ever, ever drop two points, this would have been not even two points. This would have been like three points drop at the Emirates. It wouldn't even look like two. It would have been three points we drop at the Emirates. So, people, as you know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, people. We're there. A big one up, a big up the thing. Thank you to all the subscribers who subscribe to the channel. Thanks to everybody who view Yardman thing. Leave on a comment. The comment big today. Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing about Nicholas. Um, um, sorry, even Nicholas Jarvis. That's the set piece code. Sorry. Nicholas, do you think that guy have a big future in football? Do you think he's going to be an England player in the near future? I'm giving him actually two years before I make him see a debut. That's the time cost. This year, I'm not going to really get a lot of game time. But next season, I will see him get more and more game time. Then we're talking about Ethan Waneri. Oh my God, that guy on him pace. That guy on him pace. I believe in him. I believe in Ethan Waneri. And trust her. They will trust the process today. Because at one point, when I see Sterling was going to come off, I swear it was trust her going to come off. And Sterling played through the middle. I swear in my head, that's what Mikel Arteta going to do. But he didn't do that. He played... Um, he take off Martinelli and keep on Chossard. And was he right to do that? Damn right. He was damn right to make that change. And it worked out for us. We get the three points. We move on now, people, to the Champions League game midweek against um, PSG. I will be at that game, people. So don't worry about that. I will be there. So big up on yourself, people. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Yardman channel. But like I said, people, I remember I said to you first half, check it out and and match of the day today, oh, they're going to show you how much space that um, the Leicester City left for, for um, Martinelli to score the first goal and to Trussard to score the second goal. It was, they dropped too deep and they leave too much space. But, well done, big up to, to Leicester City to come back and, you know, push us, push up to the very end. You know, Justin scored them two goals and... It was it 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 leave us nervous. I was nervous when I see ninety minutes come, and I was saying to myself, last season we scored a lot of late goal. Can we do it again this season? And damn sure, yes, we did score two in the um in the extra time, and that give us that cushion to go on top of Man City. We scored a four goal, but we can't see two, which I didn't want. I did really and truly want a clean sheet because I believe that our defense is that good. That when I conceive a goal, I've, I've, I feel very disappointed if I conceive a win. If I conceive a win, I conceive a goal at the Emirates away because I believe William Saliba, Ben White, Timber. Timber, Timber was paying today. He was paying, fam. He was paying today. He played very good. Very good. And every single game that Timber plays since the season start, we cannot fault him. Every single game that Timber play, we could give Timber a 7 or an 8, maybe even a 9. At Man City, I would give him even a 9. He's that good. He make the back line even much better, more sturdier, more stronger. You know, he give us that confidence in the back line. 
where Timber play. And the good thing about it, you can play on the left, or you can play on the right, or you can play even just in front of the, 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 the back three. You can even play there. But big up to Timber as well. You're doing your thing. Keep on doing what you're doing. Ben White out, and it's not even look like we're missing any player. Um, Martin Oligard out. Look at what... Um, Ethan Waneri doing, it look like we're not even miss Martinelli that much. Because if we're starting, he will give us the same thing at even a quicker pace than what Martinelli give to us. People, big up on yourself. Big up on yourself, people. Big up to all of my viewers and subscribers. When you don't know what they are, do the thing, people. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe is the most important thing, people. Share the video. Leave a comment. Don't forget, it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Because Yardman there do the thing. Big up to my people in Jamaica. Big up Arnett Garden football team as well. Big up to everybody. Big up people. Big up. And thank you. Thank you very much for what I do to Yardman channel. Big up.